Okay, so I wanted to do an update on the news because there's been a few different things going on. One, majorly, would be the Greek deal, where they've had all their debt wiped out. I don't know exactly what's going on. We'll hear more over the coming days, but big news that they had that wiped out. And, ooh, what have they had to give up over that? Well, let's see, because that would be relevant to what may be the future of this country. Because if you look at all the future <laughs> projections that they keep having, they never seem to live up to anywhere near the 200 billion they need to make, and that's why they're doing even harsher benefits cuts and even harsher things to the poor people and all of this shit. And they're never going to meet the 200 billion target by 2020, so we're going to have essentially the same crisis. So, you know, maybe we won't necessarily go bankrupt, who knows, but it's going to be possible. So, you know, beware, if you've got money, get it out in cash ready, because, you know, at least by 2020. Because you never know, the same thing might happen with the banks, where they'll be closed and all of this shit, and all the banks get, of course, got away. And that'd be another way to solve the problem. All these hundreds of millions in bonuses that all the bank managers and all this get, yeah, maybe some of that should go to paying off the debt crisis, because, hey, they were the ones that caused it in the first place, banks and all the poor lending and all of this shit that should have never happened. But the poor people are the ones that have to be the ones that get the problem. And then there's Labour, who's going to be the new MP of the four or five candidates. And then there's Harry Harman, oh yeah, yeah, we'll go along with all of the benefit sanctions and all of this shit and all the poor people getting screwed and all the young people getting screwed. Yeah, we don't care about that. And Labour, ooh, that's why we lost the election. We are too left. And it's like, no, we lost the election because you're too much like the Conservatives with too little ground. If you look at the actual statistics again, I'm not going to put the thing because obviously crypto lock have got to all my files so I can't put up the photo and I'm not going to go to all that hours of research again. When you've seen it in previous videos, if not, go back to the previous videos where you can see the pictures. But yeah, Conservatives got about a third of the votes and then... Sorry about that, but yeah, Conservatives got a third of the votes and then all the other votes went to UKIP and Green and other things like that that had the policies that were good for the young people and good for people who were on poor wages and low employment and wanted to look for work and the unemployed and disabled and all of that. And all of the people that were getting really, really spurred over by the current system, they all voted on the parties that were good for them. And yes, that possibly took votes away from Labour, but <laughs> you know, Labour going ask the Conservative voters, they were never going to vote Conservative. I mean, never going to vote Labour, because they think, oh, no, we're being too left. It's, you're just going about it the wrong way. You're meant to be representing the people, and if you look at the budget and what happened with that, and how it's screwed over even more people who are on their incomes and <laughs> looking for work, and zero-hour contracts, that was another one. That was the major reason people were voting for you, Kip and Green, because they were going to plan to get rid of that, and make it more possible to get proper work for people in the country, but no, that's what Labour don't want to represent, they just want to represent big business and all the stupid shit and all the things that they're still getting away with not being taxed, and that was in one of Europa 2020 things, is that big business hasn't been taxed properly in so long, you know, it remains stagnant, and yeah, you would hardly stop that, we'll just make it even less taxes for bigger businesses and make poor people even more pay for all of this. In the news again, 50 cents. <laughs> Millionaire now filing for bankruptcy. So yeah, it's ridiculous how, oh, well, I'll just file for bankruptcy. Oh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. It's like, ugh, people like this are the problem. It's like, oh yeah, I'll just spend millions, I'll go into debt millions, and I'll bankruptcy. Let's let the public pay for it. Yeah, just let all the poor people pay for it and all the people who are looking for work and can't find work because big businesses won't hire everyone under the sun that's looking for work. And it's like, ugh, you really have a thin grasp on what really is the case. Oh yeah, we'll just blame all of them. It's like, no, no, they're not the blame. They want to work. You can't say, no, no, they don't want to look for work because they are looking for work. <laughs> If you're not able to get the job, then you can't say, oh no, it's their fault, they can't have work, it's their fault, and all this sort of shit. And it just doesn't make sense to do that, especially when you're making it impossible for people to do work, because 
I know people that have been affected by it that have now had to give up their part-time jobs to look after their kid because they can't afford on the new budget to do that. I mean, they would like to have full-time work. They have noticed, but the, the, the shifts just aren't there, you know. So they have to give up the job because they can't get the extra hours to do the full-time job. And even if they did get the full-time job, they'd have to then find someone to look after their child, which isn't really a possibility. <laughs> I mean, the taxpayers aren't going to pay for that. And it's just all ridiculous what is going on with the politics. Now, yeah, now Greek as a whole of the rest of Europe pay for their debts. And so, uh, but the news focuses more on Iran, who, congratulations Iran, you're now not creating nuclear weapons. But you get all your business sanctions taken off and you get all of your frozen assets and millions of pounds given to you. Hmm. I don't know anything about that situation, but, you know, people are apparently allowed to talk about situations they know nothing about. So it's like, I'll blame all the poor people, it's blatantly their fault for everything in the world, because they're poor and they're not able to get jobs, and blame the unemployed, and blame all this, and it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, how you can be in charge of the country and just have it so wrong. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous, but no, it's gospel, it's the word of God, whatever he says, you know, you have to take it as red, and ooh, it's like, no, no, uh, uh, the subtext of what point someone put was based on the fox hunting band thing, it's like, millions of foxes now will regret voting conservatives, because they'll um, be left to die, I mean, yeah, he was planning on repelling the thing on fox hunting, but it also is a subtext to poor people, and you know, low income working people, it's like, they're yeah, getting screwed over right now, so, yeah, whether you get that subtext or not, it's up to you, but it exists there, and it's just, I don't get why they can get away with it, and uh, there are better, better ways to solve the financial problem than what they're doing, and they just, I don't know, they just want to take the easiest option of killing off all the people and then, yeah, once they're dead, they don't have to pay that and all this and that. Yeah, that solves the population problem, but, I mean, not in a good way. I mean, really, really not the way to solve the population problem. And then, oh, let's cause wars and all this other shit and it's like, still, you know, you, uh, I don't know, I just don't know anymore because, you know, people won't listen to that. <laughs> it's like, uh, why? They want to try and cause wars, they want to try and do this, and, uh, but survival of the fittest, survival of the richest, survival of the person who can get away with it, because they blanket ban all of the things and, you know, they don't want media attention on all of what they do and they get away with this. So, hey, you know, survival of whoever can get away with it these days are the real statements. So, thanks for watching and feel free to look into the news and look into whatever you want and see what's really going on with all this, because, hey, you know, Take everything anyone says with the brain of salt, because they will tell you about it. <laughs> but that's why I always normally provide the proof of what I've researched. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.